Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is just a fun little video to wrap up 2023. I thought we'd go through all of my favourite diamond painting supplies for the year of 2023. So when we've come to the end of the year, I've been back into my diamond painting for about four months now so just long enough to have you know purchased many 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 things and to have worked with them enough to know what i'm really reaching for what i'm using a lot what i really love and i'm going to go through those with you so you can see them too uh, so we have a mismatch of things here i'm going to unlock this so you can see uh, my absolute favorite complete winner um is this little beauty so the lovely lovely lorraine sent me some putty and a little reindeer cover minder so he's my only christmas themed cover minder so he's getting lots of use right now and i just adore this guy he's gorgeous 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 i don't know where she got it from uh, but i absolutely love this little cover minder. So thank you, Lorraine. That was such a lovely, lovely Christmas present. Uh, as well as the wax, uh, the putty, should I say, not wax, which is definitely going to get used. I'm just saving it the minute to show in a haul. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolute favourite, top winner of 2023, this little guy. I have found that I am a massive fan of putty for my multi-placing tips. Um, I like waxing my single placer, but I really like putty. I like the firmer, stickier stuff, and I've got a few different kinds from a few places here. I think the one that um, Lorraine got me is... Uh, by cat so I have that one to try and haven't tried it yet and I have been working on my own version so this is a coconut one at the moment it does actually smell like coconut so <laughs> go me and you'll see it looks very very much oh my god <laughs> uh, like the putty that you will see quite a lot. I haven't coloured them at the moment. I'm not sure whether I'm not sure whether I want to do that or not. I might do. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Watch this space. Um, but trying and testing those and just absolutely prefer putty over wax in my multi places. Absolutely not a diamond painting accessory. This is actually a pair of jewellery tweezers uh, pliers whatever and um, but this is a must-have when you have uh, when you want to change your, your tips your pens just for cleanly removing without completely busting um or breaking your fingers the single and multi places and i use them to place them as well so they are a must and they live in my um kit my other thing that uh, obviously a few years ago when i tried diamond painting was not a thing but now very much is so i don't have any of the super super fancy expensive pens that you can get but i have uh, purchased myself some kind of nice ones from amazon and timu i've got this kind of thinner style i have many more than this by the way i've already collected quite an extensive array of different pens to match my projects but I just thought I'd pull out a couple to show you um you know some of my favorites and what I'm really enjoying this um is a, a real beauty it's just um a blue to clear glitter so I've got the bigger type and a slightly thinner type you put your single and your multi places I always use a single and a seven these are the ones you get with the diamond art club canvases and leads me on to my next favorite the skinny places <laughs> again not a thing when I was diamond painting but you can now buy these much slimmer placer tips and these always come with your canvas kit so I do keep the sevens that I get together because I do replace and use these quite a bit so another favourite 
yes I know you're wondering why this is here so I actually prefer pink wax in my single plated set this is what I found that I like to use <coughs> I just found it easier um it doesn't bother me I've only tried a couple of types of wax and I've enjoyed them but I always come back to this I just find it cleaner and less messy so like I say I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and play with some uh, formulas and see if I can make something I prefer but at the moment it's pink wax for me pink wax blue wax purple wax whatever it's all the same stuff but um, I use this a lot my other surprising favourite of the year, because I only recently purchased this and didn't really think it was going to be a thing that I needed. This is a drill separator. So you've got the two parts. This was a really cheap one that I purchased on Amazon. It's got the little magnet so it does slide closed and all this does is crushes your drills as you turn it and separates all the stuck ones. I recently had uh, a canvas with a lot a lot of stuck together drills and this absolutely saved the piece i would not have been able to press on uh, without it. it was just too frustrating and this really fixed my problem for a very uh, cheaply inexpensive price i think the bottom comes off i'm not sure i think you might have an extra bit of storage there i'm not really not sure maybe not maybe not but that's a must a wax picker. <laughs> uh, so you sharpen these with a craft knife. They're just a soft wax for um, single placing AB drills without uh, all your wax keep coming out of your pens. And these just make life easier. They're quite long, so you could chop it in half if you don't like to work with something so long, which doesn't actually bother me. Um, they'll last quite a bit, and I think it came in a pack of 10 for just a few pounds. So um, I just grabbed those. They're just wrapped in a a fun paper to keep um you know you're feeling like you've got wax on your fingers and uh, i've really really been enjoying those my special drill set i really like these i bought from diamond art studio uk not too long since and i've only used them a few times but this has kind of changed the game for me with sort of changing and adapting my canvases i'm starting to play now with removing pieces and swapping them for something i like so i've got the crystal set and uh, the neon and glowing dark set and the ab set from them so i invested i invested a little bit of cash not gonna lie um, and I got them all and I'm super glad I did and I've only used a few so far but I do love them and my other thing is dryer sheets uh, I chop mine up pre-cut pre mine I sit and watch the telly and pre-cut a load um, to be able to pop them into my tubs again dryer sheets yes <laughs> most certainly very important uh, they do help quite a bit a lot of the more expensive kits have an awful lot of static so they are a must and then my last two things this beast of a bad boy this is the tool caddy that i bought on amazon um, i do have an unboxing of this on the channel it's a nice big one it's got the two storage trays inside that lift with the lid and then obviously the base unit it's a really nice sturdy just cheap craft caddy i think it was about 12 pounds it's actually unavailable now unfortunately um but it was kind of the biggest size that I could found, find at the time and was super cheap. And I got all my diamond painting kit in here and I do love it. It keeps everything um, together and sorted and packed away and is completely mobile for me to uh, shift it downstairs, which is where I actually diamond paint. And then finally, my complete favourite, more certainly for the year, uh, that can't be forgotten, apart from, of course, my little reindeer. Second best is these guys. I've got five of these now, and I use these exclusively now when I'm working on my canvases. And these are, they come with four different sizes. I think you get about 47 pots, I'm not completely sure. 
and I just I really love these these are a bead storage kit they're a cheap copy on Timu uh, of the Elizabeth Ward ones because you can't really get those over here in the UK at all um, so I purchased this version so obviously I don't have the true to compare them with but these have been absolutely fantastic <coughs> Had no issues, had them a few months now, used them quite a bit on a few projects and absolutely love them. So that is my diamond painting favourite supplies of 2023. Hope this was useful. I hope you might have seen a couple of bits and pieces. I mean, to be honest, if you've watched my hauls, because uh, I'm new to the hobby, you've seen all these pop up anyways, I've purchased for them. But at least you know which ones <laughs> I really love and um using an awful lot. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.